We are live. Live on the mic and transition. And transition. What's happening, friends? How are you? Welcome back to another technically speaking live show number 10. 10 shows. Dude. 10! 10! 10! I know. <laughs> Can't say that word. <laughs> I know, right? But 10. 10. Uh, so, it, if you happen to be uh, new to <laughs> this dumpster fire of a show, each week, my associate Scott and I get together. Wait, who and are you? Talk about, uh, my name is Gray. This is Scott. <laughs> Each week, Scott and I get together and talk about uh, random things that happen in technology that interest us. Uh, this week, we're going to do things a little bit differently. Uh, we're going to kind of be a little more freeform. Uh, we're trying to capture capture the magic of how Scott and I actually talk about technology and like things that we think are interesting and stuff like that. So this week is going to be a lot more freeform, a lot more kind of bouncing in and out of topics, discussing some things in a little more detail than others. We don't really have a predefined list of topics that we're going to cover. Here's so. what really happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Let me just this is all and... PR. We're just okay. trying to cover for laziness. This is the good cop. Let me just do the bad cop yeah. aspect of things. There really wasn't much content that we really That's wanted to talk fact. about because it was just all like rehashing stuff. Yeah. And honestly, there's just a lot of things that's kind of grinding my gears right now. Mm -hmm. So, we yeah, we kind of looked at each other, cursed a little bit, and said we probably little should. Bit. We should probably just make a show that says like you know what really grinds our gears. Don't pay attention to that guy. That, that guy, guy. Don't worry yeah, about that guy. Let me, let me just move that guy out of the way. Ugh. What really kind of grinds our gears in terms of technology? And there's quite a bit. So this is going to be again a little more freeform, yeah. like Greg had mentioned. Probably a lot more arguing. And really, Probably. we want to interact with all of y'all out there. So if you're watching, send a message. Say real, something. Yeah. We'll react. Probably. Probably, yeah. I mean, we're going to react. Or if you want to hear us about, hear us argue about something completely ridiculous, uh, by all means, send in your topics. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we argue about everything all the time. <laughs> Uh, it started already. Thank you, Dean. I feel like Dean. I feel like you hopped on early just so that you could, uh, just so that you could. Okay, let's get out of the way. Well, no, 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 hang on. No. First of all, what? Get to get to the business side of things. What's the business side of things? We, brother, we have, we have business to attend to. What? You, you, you gonna talk about sponsors at all? Oh, people oh, oh. that are keeping the lights on for us. Hold on, know? Michael Davis. Davis. I know Michael Davis way back in the day. Michael Daniels. Hey, guys. No problem for joining the show. I love the show. Folks that are out there right now, uh, the H&M show, I had a chance to join on Wednesdays. Come I got a chance to watch. It was good. Yeah, that was good, yeah. right? It was very good. It's because I'm the talent. Uh, Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Ah, oh, shoot him in your face! Don't think I won't cut you. McGregor. Mm. Okay. Shut up in your face! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Wednesdays at 8 p.m. I had a great, great chance to interact with all the lovely folks over on the H&M show. I loved it. It was so much fun. It was a good show. Uh, there was a bit of like a little after party afterwards, you know. Yeah. Did you get VIP treatment? I did. It was awesome. <laughs> I felt like I was important for like a hot second. It was sweet. Don't worry, you're not. Anyway, uh, check out the H&M show Wednesdays in and around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That was just a free plug. Hey. You're welcome. Uh, but regular reads to keep the lights on. Official sponsor of the Technically Speaking show is the SHS Audio Department. Uh, the SHS Audio Department focuses on live DJ, MC events, podcasting, audiobook productions, voiceover work, music production, and licensing, multimedia services, and creative consulting run by my, my man, Scotty Boombox, shsaudiodepartment.com. And? And? Also brought to you by. Brought to you by. Uh, but what? Try that again. Also brought to you by. <laughs> also brought to you by the Vulgar Parenting Podcast, which stars that same Scotty Boombox from before. Focuses on finding humor and sanity as a working parent and adult. The crew, my crew. Mm -hmm. Well, your people. My my people. Yeah. President Miller, my President Miller. Yeah. And life coach. Chips! <laughs> I do it every time. <laughs> every time. My guy. My guy. Check them out on iTunes. Leave a five-star rating. They will read every five-star rating. I still think we should leave a five-star rating, but no one came up with something to type. Ver verbatim, by the way. They will, they will read a five-star rating 
verbatim on their show. Which check I think out, is hilarious. Check them out on Facebook, IG, the Gramp, <laughs> and Twitter, vulgarparentingpodcast.com. So, you want to get out of the way now? You just want to do it? Go ahead. I need you to tell me something. Yeah. I need you to tell me that I was right. About? I believe there was a fight last weekend. I don't... Really it wasn't between you and I. <laughs> for once. For once. Uh, Come I'm out not, and say it. I'm not Come sure if I recall... Say it. ...which fight you're referring to. So, say it. Uh, if you live under a rock, or you have never watched our show before, we have been flogging the Mayweather-McGregor fight for like weeks until now. Uh, it, like That fight was the whole inspiration for working on and you're getting... You're the meaning in my life. You're the inspiration. Are you? Are you good? You should tell people that I'm, I'm right. In there, oh I'm God. so. I'm right. trying to just like blunt the blow. I point. am right. Just Maybe. come out and say it. <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> Mayweather won, rightfully so. Let's be real. Nobody in their right mind expected anything else to happen. Nobody. So. But. But. That didn't stop me. Woo! Team McGregor, baby. Oh, my God. I was all about that, man. I was more than willing to give him the puncher's chance. Uh, I still think that in the grand scheme of things, were this... Like, I, I'm, like the tragedy is that this happened late in Mayweather's career and where McGregor's at in his career. Because I would love to see this oh, back at the height of Mayweather and oh, then to see, it, like, it Mayweather McGregor 2. Four rounds less. But I'm just saying, like, I want to see... I, wanna, I would love to see the before and after. Like, I would love the opportunity to see McGregor train up for it and actually not fall apart in the fifth, sixth round. And... See what would happen just after some. Training. So basically, fight a not old, a not old Mayweather. Oh yeah. So an old Mayweather. That was. Hold up. First of all, the man is forty for sure, right? That does not look like a forty-year-old dude. He was jacked, absolutely jacked. His his six-pack had a six-pack, dude. He was jacked. So. He was smiling in between rounds like, (laughs) I got this. Yes. Because it was never a doubt. I'm not disagreeing with that. Never a doubt. He threw nine punches in two rounds. He was toying with him. He could have TKO'd him two rounds Uh, earlier. I don't think so. I don't think so. 100% believe that. I don't think so. McGregor was just completely gassed. Which is how he was able to TKO him decidedly by the time he gets to the... Yeah, oh my god. He looked awful. By round seven, seven, he was done. Done, done. sucking air. (sighs) Yeah, five and six, he looked terrible. By seven, he was done, done. So, yeah. I mean, uh, look, real talk. I get your point. I, I don't think anybody in their right mind, including the people that bet you money, which I still think is insane. I was not one of those I people. Got, I got that money, too. You follow my Instagram? Not crazy. At ScottPeachy06. I had live videos up there, and like, I'm, I'm not going to say it, but I think the first three rounds, they were feeling kind of good. I was they surprised were, at how well he did. I they, really they was. Were fe- like, there were some folks that were feeling kind of like, no, 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 I think he's going to no. do this, and I'm sitting back going, mm-hmm, what? go look. ahead and count my money. <laughs> what is every, money. look, every Mayweather fight, every Mayweather fight, what does he do? Count my first money. First two, three rounds, first two, three rounds, he lets them expend all their energy, show all their cards, throw all their punches. Now he's got every single move that they've got. Going to count my money. And then he shuts them down. That is that is textbook Mayweather, and that is exactly what happened with the McGregor fight. Nobody thought differently. I talk in just, game. Just say it. Just look at the camera. Yeah. Look at Dean right now. <laughs> look at Dean right now in the camera and go, you're right, Dean. You were right, Dean. Uh, you're... Say the, it. You're the opposite take it. of wrong. Take it. You got to take it. I did. I said it. He's he, not... He's not wrong. I said. I said. Look at me. The word. Yeah. Tell you me. Say I'm right. Not say wrong. Say Scott. You're right. No, no, no. You're not wrong. There's a difference. You're not wrong. Say Scott. Scott. You're right, fam. Say it. Something, something, fam. Ah, you can't even you're do not, it. You're not wrong. No, you're. You guys were totally right. Totally right. Bam. It is on the tube of you. Yeah. 
<laughs> that makes <laughs> so idiot. annoying right yeah well look uh we knew we knew look please believe please believe oh if it's getting loud mayweather, tonight folks if if mcgregor yeah. would have knocked out mayweather if he would have won that ne- fight I'd have oh never my been god this show would have started out with me just uh you'd have been throwing heaters just like me. yeah pretty much <laughs> Yeah. So I expect nothing less. Uh, this yeah, is but the at dynamic this point, of our I expected to be right. So yeah, that's true. That's true. Whatever, I'll take it. Tar. Tar. More than <laughs> thanks. I'll take that. Uh, okay. Still love so, you, Dean. You're still my dude. My guy. All right. Uh, so again, this into, show's man? gonna kind of like bounce around yeah. quite a bit. Um, one thing that really has been bothering me a lot, and I really want to have a discussion about it, is this whole YouTube thing. But we'll get to it in a little bit, because I want to. I want to. I just want to tell everybody how much. Can you say how right I was again? God, I really like hearing that. No, I'm kidding. Uh, let's go to. What do I want to do? Oh, the grind my gear thing with YouTube. We'll get to. Uh, that's another one. Okay. Uh, Apple's next phone is the iPhone X. Or has everybody seen it? Have 10. you seen it? I've, I've that's what it looks like. So that's the back those, of it? Or the no, front? that's the front. There's no button on the front anymore for the yeah, iPhone. Yeah, yeah. There's no I, button on the, the 12th of September, so in a mere 11 days from yeah. now. There is no button on the front. It's yeah. gone. Allegedly, the Apple logo on the back is the fingerprint scanner because they finally got smart and realized that fingerprint scanner on the back... Makes, makes makes way more sense. Way more sense. Way more sense. Everybody sense. Else on the table. Uh, it's so funny because we just before we went live were just talking about basically exactly this. I didn't know that the Apple logo on the back was going to be the fingerprint sensor for Apple. That's you the know, rumor. Makes sense. Um, I have heard uh, facial recognition for unlock. Which, I don't know how you feel about that. What was that? I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Is that is that adult Scott or twelve year old Scott <laughs> saying that they don't know how they feel about that? Don't worry. Someday puberty will catch up to you too. Someday mm. it's gonna be like that. So I look. Sit down, Connor. <laughs> That's all you got, though. What else you got? I've hey, been you right way more. Than... Shot. No, you look. Please. Uh, look. Don't. Well, oh, what do you got? What do you got? Don't. You've been right way more often about what the, the... everything. <laughs> it's such a don't. Crap answer, and you know it. No, it's and not. I've been right, 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 right about way more times. How many times have you been wrong? How many times have you been wrong? iPhone 10. Tell me uh, I haven't been wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. I do, do you, you want to go back wrong. and recount all the episodes in which I, we got I, 10 episodes that, I got 10 episodes I can go back and tell you. Smoked you. Smoked you on the God. audio game. Smoked. God. Oh, God. Can Just somebody please give me a yes or no? Alive. Somebody, anything, so we can argue. Uh, <laughs> uh, God, the uh, audio is going to be completely blown. Uh, that's right. Uh, um, anyway, so iPhone, iPhone, iPhone 10, X, well, iPhone 10, whatever. So it cor- corresponds with the 10th anniversary of the iPhone, which makes sense. Uh, I thought it was interesting that they are they're doing the iPhone X after they just got off of OS X or OS 10, and it's now just OS Sierra. I guess uh, I never thought about Sierra. it from that way. Like, yeah, the iPhone 8, okay, makes sense, but. They just straight up skipped nine. Or they they're tag, if they go with iPhone X or iPhone ten, they're skipping eight and nine. They which should. I think is why. Because it's the tenth anniversary. It makes logical sense. I mean, I get it. Well look, far be it for me to judge because Microsoft did pretty much the same ridiculous thing when it came to their Windows operating system stuff. Yeah. Where they went from like ninety five, ninety eight, ME, and then two thousand, and then a whole bunch of other weird years, and then eventually just said, Screw it. Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. So, it's not like it's out of control. What? what? Wait, no, what? No, Dean wants me to review these headphones. I just want to find them. Oh. I thought Dean was still pooping on me about... Oh, wow. I'm going out They're there right cool. now. Okay. Um, so, somebody somebody brought up an interesting comment about the, uh, the idea of the iPhone X. Like, are they going to start to jump to kind of the same naming convention they use for their operating system. So are we going to have like the iPhone, uh, what was it? The, the one line that I saw was like iPhone giant koala or something like that. Cause like they name, uh, the OS versions after it was animals for a while or cats. Cause they had oh, leopard, mountain yeah, lion, snow, snow, snow leopard. Yeah. yeah. No, that's dumb. I think so too. And now it's after mountains or something. Sierra. 
Sierra. Yesidi. Everest! Yeah, that'll be the next one. Fuji. Fuji. <laughs> Fuji. Fuji. <laughs> Uh, oh, we are struggling uh, right now. Uh, nah, yeah. it's struggling. It's what it is. Anyway, um, I so the new iPhone, no fingerprint scanner in the front. What? No oh, fingerprint shit. scanner on the front. Bezel-less, I've heard. Mostly bezel-less, and up at the upper top. Yeah, they have all the, like the sensors and the camera and all that stuff. I'm telling you right now, I think I'm gonna like it. You think so? I think so. You think it's gonna sway you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, what I really want to do is always try to have like the latest yeah. Android, the latest iPhone, but that is really expensive. A thousand bucks? I don't. I don't scoff at the price. You use it every day. That every is a day, chunk of change to put down. Every day, do you use your like? Let's think about it from this perspective. Yeah. If I had a thirty-five hundred dollar MacBook, do you use that every day? Yes, I do. Are MacBooks expensive? Yes, they are. Okay. So the fact that you use it every day has no impact on whether or not it is What happens if I was recording... um... No, no, no. You're missing the point. Is it expensive or not? That is a completely separate standalone conversation from whether or not you use it I use it every day. I'm saying it's easier to Uh, justify uh, $1,000 if you use it every day, but it's still I am willing to pay for a really nice piece of equipment if I use it every day. That's fair. I'm not used... Like, if I buy a Lamborghini, I'm driving that thing to the store. <laughs> Middle of winter. It's December. I don't Eight care. feet of snow. There's I don't no care. eight feet of snow on the road, as long as it's not on the road. Yeah. I can have eight feet of snow in the driveway. I can have eight feet of snow in the grass. I'm not driving in either one of those things. That's uh, that's an interesting theory. Just driving on the road. Okay, because there's n- there's not other idiots on the road that would not. Sure, there are other idiots on the road. Insurance. Absolutely. That's why we yeah. have insurance. There are some that are even on your side. <laughs> what you did there. Oh, what you did there. I see it. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> You're such a douche. I really am. Uh, bezel iPhone 10. Yep. So, uh, okay, I'm... so you want to talk about something that grinds my gears? Right? Okay, let's go. Things that are labeled bezel that still have a bezel. bezel is like wireless headphones that aren't actually wireless which is why they came up with the truly wireless designation which I, is stupid i agree but, with yeah. you i'm not disagreeing bezel-less with that you. isn't bezel like, so that's so the thing. Dumb. you still have a bezel like, yeah it still has a bezel yeah here's the other issue you're going to run into and it's the same issue that right now the essential phone's running into yep. bezel as close to bezel as you can get yep inside the apps they place the black bars yep so I'm gaining nothing. I have a. Desktop, I'm gaining nothing. I have a desktop monitor, 1080p desktop monitor. It is business class. It is not like high end gaming monitor or anything crazy like that. You damn right, all wheel drive Lamborghini. Oh, bro, that would be sick. Uh, like right, like that would be two super inches super up, sick. like just an inch uh, off the ground. Da, 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 yeah. da, yeah. uh, just, that would be so sick. Oh, I would drive it. I would. I mean, I it, would cut a hole in the top like Bam Margera did. You, of course, you would. Uh, yeah, I would because it's my Lamborghini. I'll do what wait, wait, I wait. want. Was that Bam that did that or was yeah. that? Dunn. That was, that was Dunn. That, that was Bam. It, oh, okay. it was his purple Lamborghini. Yeah. But I thought Dunn did it for retaliation for something. No, because Bam grabbed... <laughs> Bam tied up his... Uh, uh, what do you have? Like a Kawasaki or something like that. He had this monster bike tied up to the back of the Lamborghini and just took off down his driveway and just drug the bike behind him. Like Bam had... Or Dunn just came outside and like watched his bike get drug away. Hilarious. I used to watch that show. Rest night. in peace. <sighs> All right, what were we even talking about? <clears throat> I see. Mm, Dean says, no, no. whatever the new iPhone has inside of it, you can bet Apple invented it and it took courage. It was courage. Bro. Courage. That, what that, a poor choice of words. Bad. Yeah. Courage um, is not the answer. It took... So... You, you stepped out. You you could say that you took a risk in innovating. I would say risk, yes. Yeah. So risk, in that, like, a risk in innovation. To take, courage to take a risk? Okay, fine. You can sell me on that. You but, took a risk. That's not a courage. But does it take courage to take the risk? I'm not defending Apple. I I'm agree just saying, with like, you, but it's you, just like I don't. I, that word is real precarious. Yeah, I totally agree with you because, Ugh. like, I don't. I don't give Apple credit for being courageous in removing the headphone jack. Now, mind you, I saw. I think it was on. I think it was on Bloomberg or CNBC Money or something along those lines. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. New website. Are Blue, you Bloomberg? No. 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 Go ahead with your non-English. Anyway. Tar! Slap. Uh, a There's an analyst that was talking about the new iPhone and how 
uh, basically the comment was they were talking about the fact that there's not going to be a home button on the front and they're like oh, I think it's going to be a non-story in a couple months it'll be just like the headphones where uh, everyone threw a big fit about it and then like a week later all of the fuss has died down and nobody cares anymore that's, I'm like what planet are you from that's dude? because still not true for sure that's there are still, still people true. that are salty about it Apple fanboys that are salty about the fact that there's no headphone jack on those I, I still ha- I think have a, it's I have a problem yeah that there's no headphone jack but to say that people are just going to let it die down, the only <clears throat> reason people are going to let that die down is because Android devices, for a while, yeah, a lot of them haven't had buttons either. Physical physical home buttons, okay, fine, but I mean the the headphone jack thing, I still think is it it's it's a terrible example of the argument that the guy's trying to make because that's something that all phones universally had. You can make an argument for like, well, yeah, but there's there's precedent that has already been set for not having physical buttons on your phone. I have, I think the Evo 4G way back in the day mm. did not have well, Dean, physical buttons. Dean just had five Android phones from China at the time. They already got rid of the headphone jack. So shock Now there's precedent, but that doesn't make it a less terrible decision. In my opinion, because I don't even... all you're doing is so now I, now you have two devices that you have to charge. But I like truly wireless headphones. I like, like the convenience of that them. doesn't bother me. I like the convenience of having truly wireless headphones. Well, but headphones. remember, at some point, you were like, eh, I don't really want to charge my watch either, but you don't have an Android watch anymore. I get yeah. that, but I don't Why? I don't either. Why don't you have an Android watch either? They just didn't innovate the way I wanted them. They are trash. No, they, they worked great. They just didn't innovate the way that I wanted. I wouldn't say that they're trash. I think they're awful. I bought a... I think you're awful, but I still have you here every Friday. Uh, true story. Yeah. I, I guess I don't really I, I have anywhere to go do, from that. You I did, did not, not need all. to do that. That's all right. I didn't need to That's do right. that. Sorry. But you know what? You know how I just, uh, <laughs> I took that shot to the face. I'm sorry, and I let it Connor. Go. <laughs> I'm sorry, Connor. Uh, I didn't uh, need to go there. I My hate apologies. you with the passion of a thousand burning suns. Let's parlay that into the headphone conversation that we were just having oh, before. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Amazon Alexa. Yeah. Going um, to be in the Broggy Dash yep. and Broggy the headphone. <laughs> you, every time, every time you talk about those headphones, the headphone headphones, like you, you have to. What sum a dumb up, name! I know you have to sum up like like some level of calm to be able to even get through the name without just raging against who, their who marketing thought, department, like, which is like such a stupid depart- name. The marketing department gets together, you know, guys, you know what? We're making a headphone. We that. should, we, we need what should we call some, that? We need, we need something cool, something hip, something that kids will like. You know, we should totally call it the headphone. Brilliant. That's it. Roll with, it. with it. Yep. That's the one. That's what the winner. What are you doing? It's called the head. Okay. The headphone. Even if you called it yeah. headphone. It's not singular. You, but th- this ha- is like pants, though. Like yeah. you have a pair of pants, even though it's like one pant. <sighs> but that doesn't make any sense. But they tried to make it make sense by saying it's it's the headphone. It's it, one. It's not. It it's, is. It's just one, though. Ah! <sighs> <laughs> it's not. What a dumb name. Anyway, it's Amazon. A nice, it's a nice pant you have. <sighs> <laughs> Let the adults talk, Connor. <laughs> Connor. I, that's what it's going to be. Let it's going to be the Connor! only thing you have against me. Connor. Forever and ever and ever. That's all right. That's right, Floyd. What's your MMA record like? <laughs> undefeated. Uh, yeah, because you ain't never participated. I'm still undefeated. Beat down. Uh, no, no, no. Did not participate is different than undefeated. Does he have any losses? Does he have any attempts did he, he does that, not we didn't answer they didn't uh, ask that question that's said, no does he have a defeat in mma the concept of does he have a defeat you're not gonna in the, uh, NBA. Over in the nba no i believe he does not have <laughs> mr english i believe he does not have any defeats we're in not the NBA. It, we're not making it through the show today <laughs> without just murdering each other we're not making it through the show today oh god i know you were talking about alexa but i just got phone calling ability in yes. my google home it's awesome. so awesome fact it is awesome yeah. although it rings up as unknown so you may have somebody that won't know. answer if it's unknown i don't even answer if it shows up as i a phone swear number. total tangent yeah i was getting out of the car yeah. and my phone rang unknown i'm like i don't know if it could be the kids at the house yeah. that have figured out how to call me 
through the home. Yep. So I answered, and then the phone started ringing, and I immediately knew it was a spam call. Yep. Like, scammers. Yeah. I'm like, okay, you know me. Yeah. Out. Professional. I am super professional. Out in the world. Out in the world. Yeah. I love messing with IRL, scammers. If you will. I, I love messing with yes. scammers. Like a lot. We, you, boy, you and I have really bonded over hatred of scammers. Oh my God. I hate them. We had, we had side story. We had one time oh. where a scammer called oh. you and I can't remember, like they were looking for somebody. It's, it wasn't even you. Like, it's not even like they didn't even have the right number for the right guy. So he goes, <laughs> he goes, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hang on. Let me go get Timothy. him. He, Timothy. That's what it was. Timothy. Yeah. 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 Is this Timothy? No, no, no. Hang on. Let me go get him though. So then he hands a phone to me and I'm like, hello. And then go, he goes through the whole spiel again. And then he's like, Timothy, whatever. And I'm like, oh, you need Timothy. Okay. Yeah. Hang on one second. And then I hand it back to him. And we just did this probably like six or seven times before he, he finally, he finally cussed us out and then hung up. Like that's, that's how you know you won. So like, I decided that's a solid win in my book. Yeah. So I decided that so you answer this, this I, number. I answer yeah. the phone. It rings. It rings. They ask for this Timothy person. I am not. Still. Same, still, guy. same Seriously. Same person. <laughs> same person. Ask for Timothy. I pretend that I'm having like a massive movement. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. I go. <laughs> no. Who is this? <laughs> and I'm like making the most horrific noises. Right. And goes through the spiel. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm. I'm I'm constipated. Can you repeat that again for me? And repeats it again. That's so funny. And then I'm like, oh! And then this goes on for like literally, I can tell you how long, it, exactly long it goes on for. Was this for. today? This was, not. yeah, it was like an hour before the show started. Oh my gosh. It legit it so goes funny. on for this unknown call details, three minutes and two seconds. Where you're, you're. I'm pretending to, to have a BM. <laughs> Yeah, and they go for that it. Is, so they find they again yeah. curse me out, hang up the phone. That's but the idea is if they're wasting my time, not somebody else's, whatever. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Amazon Alexa. Wow. <laughs> yeah. oh. Wow. Tangent. Uh -huh. Woo. Okay. Amazon Alexa is going to be in headphones. Now I was telling Greg so the, earlier that yes, you can get like Amazon or you can get Siri and Google Assistant in the Bragi headphones right now because when you're Bluetooth connected to your device. You're actually using an app in the phone. So, like, for Google Assistant, you're using what was formerly known as Google Search. Yeah. Well, for Siri, that's obviously baked into the operating system as Siri. Yeah. Amazon doesn't have that. Unless you right. have an yeah. Amazon phone. <laughs> no. Does anybody... Uh, look, I would the love... Fire phone? I would love anyone to, to at me and say, yeah, I have a Fire phone still. Love it. I mean, other than the... It comes with a I'll free go this year much. Prime. I'll use an Amazon phone yeah. for two weeks if somebody gives me an Amazon Fire Phone. I don't phone. think you can get them anymore. Give me an Amazon Fire Phone, I'll use it for two weeks. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. <laughs> okay. I'll do it. Okay. Just, I don't think anybody's going to be able to find one. I'll do it. I, I have never had an Amazon device that ran Amazon OS for longer than like 35 minutes. As soon as I get an Amazon device, that the minute... I get it. I flash it and put something else on it. Dean, that man is making my earbuds rattle my drums. Stop the shouting. I don't promise that. I'm very loud today. I don't know why. Yeah. Google search. Google. 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 <laughs> You're right. Michael is right. Google search, then Google now, now Google Assistant. Long oh story God. short, like... Google has a branding problem. <sighs> Google has a commitment problem. Google has an integration problem. Google has a dot, 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 dot. Stop. Yes. All the things. Amazon doesn't have an app where you can basically enact yep. their assistant. Yep. So effective next month via software update, the Broggy Dash and the Broggy, the headphones. <laughs> every time. Every time. They are going to have a software update that basically allows you to enact Alexa. Yeah. And be able to use her. And now I said that that alone tells me this is total speculation. That alone tells me that Google has headphones coming. See, I'm that alone tells me that Google has. headphones coming. I don't get coming. how you make this stretch there's, from where there's smoke, there's fire. So let's go back with what we know. That makes even less sense because I don't even see smoke, let alone fire. You don't go see ahead. smoke? I'll no, make no, no, not with. Yeah, I, I okay. would love, like for real, real okay. talk. Yeah, the smoke. 
somebody did the, the APK breakdown and saw that there was something yeah. that enacted the Google Assistant via a headphone button. Correct. That, I am with you on. That, that is smoke. That, to me, that is smoke. Gotcha. On top of the fact that Amazon's now going, oh, crap. Apple has the AirPods, which okay. has Siri baked in. Okay. Okay, that's one. And now we have this thing that yep. Google's doing with, we've got this weird animation that says that you can press yeah. a button and act the, the assistant. The Bisto. The Bisto. Not mm. the Bistro. The Bisto. You're yeah. right. The Bisto that says, I have this, I have these snippets of code yep. plus this animation yep. plus yep there's been this talk for a while now yeah that to me is smoke there's too much smoke there for them there not to be true so I, and then amazon's going ooh so you see you see the broggy dash announcement as reaction to the bisto thing yes. see and this is where i disagree with that because something on that scale requires coordination that would take a lot longer than a couple of weeks worth of OF. Google just said. I don't this. think it's a couple of weeks. I think they've known I, for a while. I, and that I would agree with, but that's why I'm saying I don't think it can be reaction to the uh, the teardown of the APK that showed the Beasto headphones. I agree with you that it's probably been going on for a while, um, but I don't. What is wrong with you? Anyway. Uh, I don't. <sighs> to yeah. me, that like they knew about it. Yeah. They probably have been in a hyper development mode. Yeah. Like, ooh, we really have to react to this. Let's go ahead and say, I mean, because you got to get contracts signed. Yeah. You've got to intern. I mean, that's, I mean, not even the, 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 just the technology alone of being able to, of, of being able to work out like the software side of just, just the, the act of push button, talk to thing. And that gets passed on to Amazon via mm -hmm. API. That alone is, that's a lot of effort. That's, and that's the minimal amount of effort, I would think, mm -hmm. next to what it takes to actually hammer out this negotiation. That's what I mean. Sign like, the deal. I have it on good terms. No, this is completely unrelated. I yeah. had a family member that worked way mm -hmm. back in the day for like a major telecom mm -hmm. company. And they had devices well in advance. Yeah. Well, in advance, many, many months, sometimes upwards of a whole quarter in advance. Mm. So my guess... Like before even the public has an inkling. Correct. Yeah. So my guess is that this is a situation where Amazon knew. Yeah. Amazon, they probably... Like, I'm surprised they didn't try to make their own. That's what tells me that this was somewhat of a reaction to Google having it. Because they've already tried to make a phone. I see, well, They've okay, already tried to make a yeah. tablet. Yep. Yeah. And they were moderately successful with the tablet. They're really more successful with the reader. Mm. But you uh, see where I'm yeah, going is like I, okay, they failed so, so hard on the hardware end. They lost a lot on the phone. They, they lost a lot on the, the phone. The so tablet and the reader, I would argue, is their more successful products. Um, I think they pretty much stand alone. In, I mean, first of all, they're, if you get the Fire tablet, which is what I've got two or three of them now if you get a fire tablet it's like 50 bucks for 50 bucks that is one of the best tablets you're gonna buy i agree but they lost they lost a lot on that phone on the phone for so sure i'm, I'm thinking that. that i think this is a reaction to Bisto. i don't think i don't and think it not, can be just because of the timeline i i think it's it's simply another bit of smoke yeah for the fire that is the Bisto. i think that that's a real thing i, 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 I have, again i have no ground yeah to, of this at all. I think it's I, also a real thing, but I just don't... I guess it seems the odd, thing like, that I fall apart is like I don't get the... I don't understand how Amazon working out a deal with Broggy equals... Why would Amazon work a deal out with Broggy that just happens to say a software update in October? When Bisto... When allegedly the, yeah. the Pixel and everything is supposed to come out on 10.5? Why would they have a software update that just happens to go live in October... I just happen to have no app at all, yeah. but a software update where Amazon Alexa is baked into hardware that's not Amazon's. Like it just I, yeah, seems too odd. To I, me. Okay, I I guess I I guess I see your point, but I feel like uh, a larger argument in all of this, or I guess a larger question in all of this, is like, what's the use case for having? Data. Uh, no, no, Data no, 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 no. What is the use case for having Alexa in your ear? Like, Alexa, order me a whatever. 
Well, yeah, see, that's the thing. Is like, I'm not really sure what... No, you're talking to two people who love Amazon, but don't have Alexa in their home at all. No. You have no virtual assistant. Sure don't. I have the Google Assistant. I am a... Uh, I'm a psychopath when it comes to security type of stuff. You I don't have stopped really the psychopath. Like, you know, probably could have. So, full stop. Um, don't particularly care for the idea of... I, I love I love the promise of technology, but the implementation of technology in in the current standing, like the current political environment, the current world environment, like all of those things, the implementation of technology, frankly, concerns me. So yeah, I I love the idea of Google Home. I love the idea of the Echo Dot and stuff like that. It's the it's the ramifications from compromised security that concern me more so than anybody knowing what it is that I do in my home. Like, I don't care if you're listening. Google is technically listening to me right now on my phone. I don't necessarily care about that, but again, it's the ramifications. It's, it's the, it's the fallout when things go south, they go south bad. They go real perish. Well, this goes into the whole artificial intelligence conversation we had on top of the fact that look, my yeah. data's already been stolen. My social security number is out on the black market. I'm I was, not I was in the military. Like my my information is out there already. Yeah. But still, like that doesn't like just because just because your information is out there, just because my information is out there doesn't mean that you just go, nah, whatever. I don't care. That's kinda To me I at least. I I eh, to whatever. <laughs> oh oh to be you, Scott. I w- I wish I could give zero Fs. Like I that. wouldn't say that I give zero. Do you want one? Half one. I would give more than that. One. I'm not giving my social security out to these well, people. for sure, yeah. I'm not actively trying to sabotage myself. Yeah, I care. Yeah. I protect my... I, I have wonky passwords. I'm not, yeah. like... It's not password one. It's password two. <laughs> With an exclamation point. Duh. And a capital P. Yeah. I also capitalized W. Duh. Duh. Okay. The sad thing okay. is, is you know that people do that. Oh, they absolutely Capital do. P-A-S-S, yeah. capital, capital W-O-R-D, yeah. one yeah. exclamation. It's easy to type. Yep. There's other words that are also easy to type with one hand that people do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that yeah, yeah. I don't, don't get me started yeah. on that. But anyway, Amazon Alexa, I'm telling you right now, because of that, it's there's too much coincidental evidence for me to say that I, Dean just corrected me. It's not Bisto, like B E E S Bisto. It's, it's Bisto. Bisto. No. Oh. Bis B I S. Eh. Bisto. Either Sorry. way, we're we're uninformed. We're, we're dumb, also really dumb. Dumb Merkins. Sorry. Long story short is it's too much coincidental information for yeah. something to not be there. Now, I don't know if that's something that's going to be even remotely correlated yeah. to, like, hardware launch. Yeah. I don't know. So it, that, it would just be... It's too much coincidental. There's, a, there's an interesting implication there, then, is, like, how did Amazon find out? Like, if, if it is truly a reaction to Bisto, eventually we'll get it right. If, no. if, if it truly is a, a reaction to that, then how did Amazon find out? And how long have they known? I mean, it could be, I mean, cause, it could again, be a patent, an FCC filing, some random filing. But Okay, but if it's, we've already seen if it's like an FCC thing, please. There are people that scour that kind of stuff. No, I get that, but so, I'm like, there's just so many ways that they could yeah. probably figure it out. Because, I mean, we, well, we've basically honestly, already proven just that. People talk. I, I guess so, but That's I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. All right. Huge mic. Huge mic. Yes, it is. Uh, Thank you. Ryan. Uh, way off topic. Massive. What's the mic that we're using? This is a Blue Yeti mic. It's the best USB mic out there, in my opinion. Some yeah. would argue that there's a whole bunch out there. I have a Blue Raspberry over there. That's the Blue Raspberry Gen 1. There is a Gen 2 Blue Raspberry. Yeah, grab that guy. We'll, we'll, we'll make a little, little demo here, a little product review. Yeah, sort of. so this guy right here is the Blue Raspberry Gen 1. There's a Blue Raspberry Pro. This is great for when you're on the go. Uh, I'm trying to rig up a way to rig this as my primary mic out on the road. When on. What? Jason says that he is watching this. On the essential phone? On the essential phone. Yeah, he told... I, I saw him on the, the old the Twitter machine saying he had an essential phone. Uh, Jason, 
I'm going to... My man. Flat out ask you. <laughs> yeah. I just need some... Just type me some very high level thoughts on the essential phone around now. I, I, also, uh, that battery life, I really want to know if the battery life is as good as they claim that it is because the numbers that are on the marketing material for how good the battery is on the essential phone are bananas to well, me. Thank you very much for the sound comment, Ryan. Yeah, Love I do it. appreciate that. We, uh, yeah, so this we is, work really hard on that. The this is stuff. like 100 and... I don't even know if it's still it's 130 like, bucks. 100, so for a long time... right now, I think. For a long time, they're like 130 bucks. Either way, it's a it's a sub-$150 microphone. Comfortably sub-$150 microphone. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I have one. You've got one. Yep. We have at least one other friend that has one. And his absolutely been worth it. Um, yeah, like even MKBHD years ago said that that was the best mic. Yeah. Now, there's some other ones out are, that are out there. Uh, sure makes a really good one. Uh, Audio Technica makes another really, really good yeah. one. Oh, God, yes. Um, that's a little bit smaller than that giant s- yeah. space one. <laughs> Where are you going with that one, Peach? Mm, yeah. The space capsule. What she did there. What she uh, did there. I see it. Uh, Larry, but for, for where did price, you get the beverage chiller to gr- to uh, Greg's right? Uh, we had these. We had these made, custom made. Yes. Um, we we have thought about actually uh, offering them up for sale. Yeah. But we we never were really sure if people were interested in in that. Yeah. So uh, if you're the, interested, email us or reach us on uh, what's our email address? The, the text, text speaks, speaks at gmail. Wait, no, no, no. No, it's not. It's the tech show. Yeah, it's no tech speak show. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at this branding. Oh, anyway, so bad reach out to us on standby. We'll, we'll any have of it. the stuff that you In see out here. It is tech speak show. T e c h s p e a k s h o w at gmail.com. If you want one, let us know. If we get enough interest, we'll put in an order, get a whole bunch of them, and I guess. Figure out how to sell them. I don't even know how to do that. We'll figure it out. I don't know. We we can work that out. Yeah, um, Michael yeah they're pretty awesome though. They are they are legit uh, can coolers. Oh yeah, absolutely. They, Mine's they up keep, there. Here, get it. They keep beverages very cold. Um, while he's getting that, Sorry. Michael mentioned he has a Samson lavalier, also really really great. Yeah. Trying to figure out how you can use that with your Pixel phone. If it doesn't go into the headphone jack. You gotta try to figure out how you can get an adapter that goes into the USB Type C. Uh, I haven't seen that yeah. one. Michael, reach out to me. You know where to find me. That would be interesting. Um, That'd be very interesting. This guy. Oh yeah. Very, very, very much metal. Oh, very, super, very, very yeah. much awesome. Vacuum. We could even autograph it for you. <laughs> Which yes, we could. It's literally like a, our autograph and a dollar will get you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Uh, okay, what else we got? I gotta catch up with some of the comments. Yeah, it's been going bananas in here. Um, da, 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 da. First impressions of the LG V30. The cr- the camera the camera the camera. Wow, you're having you're having some issues today, Peach. The camera and its software are nothing short of incredible. Full disclosure. Yeah, I love the V30. Love have you the V30. have you had a chance to play with one? I have watched multiple videos okay. of the videos that come out before the phone can come out to the public. <laughs> <laughs> that look, let's make that the next one we jump okay. into. And it's beautiful. It is a beautiful device. Beautiful photos. Some of the photos that they that these guys were taking before anyone in the public can actually get that phone. LOL. Yeah. Are just beautiful. Yeah. They are legitimately nothing short. Of incredible if i had to go get a phone right now like i have cracked phone i must get a phone right today yeah i would get the v30 really i would get the v30 so That's if today if you, like, could, you give me 10 more days i'm probably getting the iphone 8 uh, mm-hmm. really mm-hmm. really if you can get me to the pit like you're talking like i got a broken phone in front of me yeah i must have a device and i have the choice of between essential the the Note Eight, yeah, the the V thirty, and they are physically in front of you. Physically in front of me, I'm taking the iPhone eight. I don't even have the vocabulary that I'm willing to say out loud on something that's recorded on the internet to describe how much that surprises me. Because you, you, you 
are the Google universe. Like I you am. live so far inside the Google universe. I am not willing to get an iPhone eight and you would. Mm -hmm. The only thing that interests me about Apple and the iPhone eight, or I guess iPhones in general, but Apple as a whole is they appear to have a little more, uh, a little more oomph behind their security which attracts me, but I still don't want an iPhone. I'm like, telling you right now, like I think that the iPhone 8 is going to be that incredible. Oh, Look, I will, wow, glad, I will gladly be wrong. I will. I really I will. hope that this is your Conor McGregor. I, yeah, it, I, <laughs> I do too. I look, full, dis, full stop, full yeah. disclosure, I want to be wrong on this. Yeah. I really think that they're going to come out with something. I do. They're going to swing hard. I think they're going to swing hard. I, look, for a thousand bucks, you better swing hard. I think they're going to swing real hard. Okay. I think you're going to see a camera that is unprecedentedly amazing. That's not a word. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I think you're going to okay. see a, a one that is just outlandishly amazing. Okay. I think I, you're going to see wireless <laughs> charging. Oh, that's because that's new technology. I did not say it was all new stuff. Yeah. I did not say it was new. Okay. I said it was going to be an amazing phone. I don't actually like wireless charging. I just don't. Okay. But you're going to have a phone that's going to look, feel, and perform magical. I'm telling you right now, I think Apple nails this one. And I don't look. Oh, look, I can't believe I'm saying. I, it. I can't I believe I'm saying it. But I'm gonna tell you right now. Saying it. If you I have, have all people, I can't. I have like it. if I have all these choices in front of me, and I have like a Pixel Two yeah. XL in front of me, it's the Pixel Two XL, one million percent of the time. Okay, that makes me feel a little yeah. bit better. I'm telling you, like, if <clears throat> it depends on the time frame of me yeah. getting a phone. If I get to September 12th, yeah, when the new iPhone comes out or whatever. And I have to have a phone, and it's in front of me. I'm taking the iPhone eight. Just if, buy a cheap throwaway flip phone for like three weeks no, or something until no, until you get the it. Pixel two. Not I can't believe it. I can't believe you would go. I'm not gonna hold out for the Pixel two just so that you can get the wow. Like there are dude, it's comments. Blown <laughs> sit down again. Oh, the comments uh, are whoa. Blah. Okay, let me get down there. I'm telling you, I think it's gonna Hang be that on. good. Uh, I think it's gonna be that good. I, I love Jason. Uh, Jason comments about the essential phone. Uh, phone is good. Battery life is great in the last 24 hours. Camera is not horrible, which that pretty much matches yeah, all I, of the early I, reviews I, that it, we've seen at least. I have heard that it's not horrible, but it's it's also not very good. not good. Yeah, uh, and he wishes he had his HTC U11 back. That's because you need to unlock your Twitter account and <laughs> then at then at them. You are at eight weeks. Yeah. Since you got your HTC U11, which goes and tells me that HTC, say it with me, dumpster fire. Don't ever buy an HTC product. I can tell I, you right now. I have one. Bad. I have an HTC product. Bad. I like my HTC product. Thank you very much. Bad. Right. Matter of fact, I know that Larry also has an HTC product. I know this. Bad. We're not talking about phones, though. L Larry. HTC Vive. Yeah. Oh, come yeah. on. That's not even fair. <laughs> it is. Look, it's an HTC Vive. Uh, Just saying. Okay. All right, what else we got? Let's scroll uh, through here. Feels and, uh, awesome in the hand. Ha, ha, ha. Road mic. Uh, highly agree with the road mic. Very, very yeah. good. Uh, my three-year-old is watching too. Hello, three-year-old. Not out yet. The V30. Yeah, that's... Oh. Uh, Nate, you are correct. You did place an order for two. He's referring to the can koozies. And they come... Your uh, order comes in... Tomorrow. When? Tomorrow. Yeah. Can't love a phone not out yet. Yeah, true. Blue Apple Pixel 2, Pixel 2 XL. Yeah. Hold my pop. <laughs> <laughs> to hold my Apple pop. equals walled garden. Oh. You know, I agree with the whole walled garden thing, and yeah. about yeah. four years ago, you would have heard me thump that drum. Yeah. I don't even care anymore. I mean... I don't even care. The problem is, like, the walled garden analogy, it, like, people use it to beat up on Apple, but... Being in the Google universe right now, like it—that's a walled universe. It well, it, yeah, but it sucks. Is the problem? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, like Apple. No, Apple. say more. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and evidently, I'm going through puberty. <laughs> maybe someday, Scott. Maybe someday. Uh, so Apple, Finally they exercise like naked. like tyrannical control over all their devices, and their integration is so tight that it's hard to see anything other than just the magic of everything working, and Google sucks at that, man. 
It drives me crazy. We harp on this all the time. And it Apple just does irritates a, me to no end. Apple does a really good job with their messages. They know, like, it's not... Yeah. I know it comes back to the fact that it's very simplistic. It is. Very, very, very simplistic. But they're the only ones that can say, it just works, and no one goes... <laughs> <laughs> right, like, when I go to, like, think about it from the messaging standpoint. Yeah. The majority of the people who have phones, like, yeah. we... Everybody that we're talking to today... Like in the live yeah. chat, and then us, we are fringe cases. We're not really what Apple's going for. We're very much closer to the edge than we are the middle. Oh, as, as far as like just being like advanced users yeah. of technology. Yeah, I, like I would we, agree with that. It's a situation where what do you want your phone to do? Yeah, take pictures, yeah. really good ones. Yep, yeah. yeah. Text message, message, internet, yeah. phone. But like so initially, like when when you got when you got an Android Android phone back in the day, uh, like being able to root and ROM it and put on some like that custom meant version, something. it totally did. And now it does not at all. And mm. that's the like the argument that I can see for people that are saying like, yeah, but Apple. That's where I'm like, okay, that argument I can buy into because because of all the integrations, because of the fact that things have just worked for so long, and because of the fact that. Number one, it's becoming harder and harder to actually get around, circumvent some of the security to put custom ROMs on there. And number two, it's becoming more dangerous just because of malware and viruses and stuff like that. I have touched a nerve. Oh, yeah? I have we touched got, a nerve. Got, I can tell that I have got some people some fired up where I said I would buy an iPhone. And I'm, then all of a sudden, like, everybody was like, absolutely not, no way, oh my god, I can't believe you did this. Apple makes me vomit, I think is pretty much the summation of... Like yeah. Michael says, any iProduct I just don't want, they are too proprietary. I get it. I do, I totally get it. But man, let me tell you, yes, they're proprietary. Yeah. proprietary. Yes, they are. But oh my god, their products are beautiful, they function. Well... <sighs> Man, like my MacBook Pro right here, everything that yeah. I am running, this live show is running on this MacBook Pro right now. Yeah. But the thing is, it nothing about it is proprietary to Apple. I have, hang on, let me get there first. Besides the internal. Oh, hang on. Hang what? On. <laughs> you hang on. I just stop. had a stroke. Stop, like, stop. Those words. Stop. Think about it from the consumer standpoint. Okay. Think about it from the consumer okay. standpoint. I have, a, I have, have a aneurysm. Shut up at your face. <laughs> Everything, the internals. Okay. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides that, I have USB Type-C on it. Okay. I also no. have a Google device that uses USB Type-C. No, no, you don't. You're you have, right. You have I have a 3. Thunderbolt 3. That uses USB Type-C USB connector. USB Type-C connector. If, you, if, if there's you're a confused video out that, there. If you're confused by that, please check out our channel where I did a very quick five-minute, less than five-minute uh, rundown of the differences between uh, Thunderbolt 3 and USB Type-C. That video is for people like me. Yeah. Like quintessential. Yeah, but, okay. Yes, but the differences almost don't matter. It, Go doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But the point is, is the internal parts, like yeah. I can't take and put RAM on side on, you know, on the motherboard and things like that because Apple yeah. is proprietary. I get that. Okay, but Apple's okay, not yeah. the only ones that are pre proprietary. Anymore. Agreed with that. There's the problem. It's <clears throat> like everybody's starting to go, holy crap, Apple really, Apple did this. And people are still buying. But, uh, but we're okay. going to do it too. Hang on. So, there, there's a difference between having oh a Oh boy, machine. we're never going to do this like... Yeah, ne never going to get through it. If, look, got, if we skip over your... We typically try and read all the comments, but there is a block of stuff that but we may are not even getting anyway, to. So so let's, Apple, look, I would I would argue that the, the laptop is probably the least proprietary thing in the Apple universe. iPhone, sure. I... Whatever, will you turn it down? Turn it on the game. Dean okay. said that just a matter of knowledge. I'm really distorted when I raise my voice. I turned the game down. That's that's how everybody feels. <laughs> uh, I don't even remember what my point is. I don't care. Michael is right. The Pixel I, phone I is just the best picture. I actually yep. believe that this year, the Pixel device, the new Pixel, will still be the best device. I think it will hands down beat Apple. I'm interested to see what that head-to-head -head comparison looks like. I think it will like hands really down. I really wish I made a lot of money to where I could be like buy two of them. Yeah, yeah and the iPhone 8 and the Pixel XL, and then yeah, compare them for a year, put them through the paces. Please believe if if 
and or when our channel continues to grow and we can actually start to do that. That is absolutely things that we want to get into is like doing some hardcore head to head comparison right now. We would love to do it. I think we have the background for it, but we don't have the that for it. If any of y'all want to give the that for it, either the device or the money. I don't care either one. Yeah. Anyway, I moving would do on. It in a what else we got? Pixel phone, just the best picture, just yep. a matter of knowledge. Yes, I turned the gain down. Hopefully that helps. Yep. U11's great. That just... is also what she said, by the way, Ryan. Going back, this is probably like ten minutes in the past yeah, now at this point. Customer service at HTC is awful. It U11, is awful, awful. I would argue that the U11, although I never had one, so I have to take Jason's word for it. Yeah. It's, I, it has a lot of wasted space, and squeezable sides, and awful glass backing. <sighs> Uh, you had a nice seven plus. Oh, I still like that one. Choose to buy a cheap fifty dollar phone. Vault or... Universe Flat Earth. Love it. Love it. Cached graphic security. So, yes. Security should be called Android. So, what, secure. That was very much not the first word I read. Buy what you want that makes any phone better. Yes. Uh, the S eight is beautiful. HTC. Yeah, it looks good. Essential phone looks good. LG three is beautiful. Any more oh, examples? Knox. Oh, Larry. Oh, buddy. Hitting hitting a sore spot with Knox. I hate Knox. Knox is, uh, if anybody doesn't know, Knox is this. Hey, you're not, particularly... by the way, Dean, hang on. Dean, wide open everything, but go on. Wide open. Wait, Dean whoa. Says that's give me some so many people talk them. device security and yet use wide open and vulnerable Internet of Things gadgets around their homes. Agreed. Oh, totally agree. Totally agree. I'm, I'm not one of those security people. I am a psychopath. I have, you have no Internet of Things. I have no Internet of Things. Um, the Internet of Things that I have are so super segregated on their own portion of a wireless network that does not touch anything else. It's cancer, man. I don't want. I don't want any of that stuff anywhere near me until these manufacturers get around to like start taking security seriously. Keep in mind, part of part of information technology and security like that's i'm an it guy that is my job is to kind of keep up to tabs on this and like it it, it's like when you it's like when you work in the hospital and you deal with uh you deal with people coming in and like gunshots on it like you're you're just acutely aware of all the different ways in which people hurt themselves mortality statistics and stuff like that so you just become hyper aware of those things same thing with it security stuff Mm -hmm. it's yeah, you just you just get baked into it. Uh, Knox is awful. I hate Knox. Um, the S lock for those yeah. that may have heard Knox is this S lock <clears throat> that. Basically, if you modify your this is specific to Samsung. Yeah. If you modify your Samsung device, forget about it. Yeah, I mean it's it's still usable. It's not like you can't use the phone. But, but if you need any warranty work, no. Yeah. Which, I, I mean, on, gone. on one hand, I get why they do it. It's like the, you know, warranty void of sticker removed type of thing. But on the other hand, it's like, hang on. So if I restore this back to original factory default settings. Using fa- your files. Yes. From Samsung. You're, Samsung. <laughs> Samsung. You're telling me that you're not going to remove the lock. Like, I, by all means, put the lock in there. If I put a custom ROM on there and you don't want me to be able to run that because you can't, you know, verify the validity of it, blah, blah, blah. Sure. Fine. Ah, drives me nuts. Um, uh, hang on. What do you got? Agree with Larry. Knox is bad. Knox is awful. There's yeah. a lot of other things that people are doing. Like, I have a problem with people skinning Android. That bothers me. Just use just use vanilla Android. Yeah, but we make things better for the users. How do you know? I I, I How love. How do you know? The problem is, I, like, I'm a Linux guy, right? So I love the customization that you can get out of doing. Like, if when you I have the if knowledge. I want. I, I totally agree. That's my point. Is yeah. Just give me vanilla the out of the to. box. Yeah, yeah. Give me vanilla out of the box. And if I say, I want that, then you can go get it. Sure. That's what I want. Yeah. Okay. But I don't think I should have to load a custom ROM for that. I don't know if Apple's going to die. The proprietor, proprietary not dying. will be their demise. I don't think so. Not no. anymore. No. Apple is um, not dying. I just, I just can't see that because they got their hands in too many things. Here's the other thing, too. We are not Apple people. Nope. But getting involved in with youtube doing content creation like this i absolutely understand why people in creative work swear by apple oh my god 100 yes. percent get it holy cow and like, that annoys me to no end like, I, but i get it i get it like i really get yeah. it i had the ability i have the ability at work to edit on another 
Mac using Adobe Premiere Pro. And I personally use to edit the videos Final Cut Pro. Uh, I purchased Final Cut Pro and it is, in my mind, some people would argue, yeah. it's so much better for me and for what I'm doing uh, than Adobe Premiere Pro. Hands down. I mean... For I what I'm doing. Yeah, I, I, I can't even begin to comment on that because I've only ever used Final Cut. I've used iMovie. I've used Final Cut Pro. I've used Blender, which... That's an exercise in futility. If you ever want to hate yourself for like the rest of your life, just try and turn Blender, an open source 3D modeling software, into a nonlinear video editor. It's way more painful than that sounded. Way more painful. Ugh. Yeah. Don't but, use Avid either. Avid's supposed to be like this high end. If I had to, I have Avid. If you're not I don't even comfortable it. editing, yeah. start on iMovie. Yeah. They transition from iMovie to uh, Final Cut Pro, way better. If yep. you are not comfortable and want to basically bash your hand with a hammer, go immediately to Adobe. Uh, what? Immediately to Adobe Premiere Pro. It, so it kind of sucks that there's no middle ground uh, video editor for, um, for like I guess non non Mac OS uh -huh. devices. I mean, there, there's some that will that will make video editing easier, but all of the ones that I've seen so far do not have the same quality of features. Like, you know, built-in transitions and built-in, like, all the crazy stuff that is built into Final Cut doesn't exist on all these other products. Final Cut Pro is where it's at for it, yeah. for everything that we need and everything that we do. So I don't even... I, I am cheap. I don't want it to be, and it is. It totally is. We all so. know winter is coming. I'm Winter. not a Game of Thrones guy. I, I don't know what that means. Uh, I do. I love me some Game of Thrones. I don't know what that means. I, don't I'm, ruin it for anybody. I don't, I'm not don't spoiler. To. No, I'm totally not going to, but I'm also five seasons behind, so let's okay. be real. Uh, if we can reach HTC, so... <laughs> I mean, I'll, tw I'll tweet them. <laughs> Good luck. I'll, I'll tweet them, but, yeah. but what I need to do is I need to screen cap your tweets and then get them. Yeah. So basically, I have to... I'll screen cap your tweets with your Twitter handle in it and then at them the photo uh, unless you unlock your account. That's the only way I'm going to be able to do it because when you have a locked account, they can't see anything. So they need to see that content. Um, I like that I can take almost every app off my Pixel or any other phone. You can't remove iProducts off of an iPhone. So you're stuck with the apps that they don't use. I mean, yeah, sort that of, but part. Yeah, you can. I agree with you. Well, hang on. You can't remove the base Google apps off of your phone. Like, I can't remove. I don't know Google. Let me see. Yeah, go, go on. What base ones that? So real, me, real me, talk. Me, what base see. ones wouldn't you use? I look. I get that. I'm just saying. Like, there are there are base uh, Google things on here that. That, that are a part of... Okay, you remember this from the days of rooting and roaming phones. You get the Android OS, and then you have to go out and get the Google app, yeah, app yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That has the basic Google connectivity yeah. applications. That's what I'm talking about. You don't I get what delete you're those like, off of your phone. If you Even go, the but, iPhone has... Say, but if you go A to Z, I don't know if there's anything that... You, anything that you can't remove? I don't know. I mean, for sure... Okay, I'm so pretty Gmail. sure... Hang on. I'm pretty sure um, that uh, play games, play books, play movies, play music. Play music you can remove. I don't think the rest of those you can remove. I think you can. Go to remove. Mm, Slide it up. Okay. But can you uninstall? You cannot uninstall. You can't uninstall. So you can't uninstall those either. Right. So that's Ooh. what I'm saying. Like there's oh, There sucks. are Google apps on your Pixel phone that you cannot huh. remove. Did not know that. Now. I will grant you that iOS is particularly onerous about it. There's a lot of them on iOS. There's not a lot of them on... Yeah, like, I don't want, like... I, I like Google Notes. This is why I'm a Google guy. Yeah. Um, so I use Google Keep. Yeah. But I don't want to take Apple Notes. But a lot of people use Notes. Yeah. A lot of people. Yeah. You know why? Because when it you works. Log, no, when you log in uh, on your MacBook, it integrates. Yep. And that's... Something that Apple does really well and annoys the daylights out of me. Yes, sir. Uh, Knox took me less than five minutes last week to get into a Knox protected Note 3 that a tourist had left locked behind in our cafe. Needed to get a contact for them so I could post it back. Yeah, Knox protection sucks. Yep. Pinnacle Studio. I haven't heard of Pinnacle. I use PowerDirector. 
Power Director I have used. I've I used Power Director, and I think it's either Keen Master or Kind Master. Both are okay. Or is it Cinemaster? You can disable Google Apps. Yes. Done. Unlock Twitter. Okay. For sure. Once you will, uh, okay, I will literally right now here take over for just a hot second. Um, okay, I'll take over for just a hot second. Um, what were we even talking about before this? We have basically been rambling. Someone just said, when is when is Scott Peachy going to get a hot beard? <sighs> it is a glorious, glorious beard. I'm telling you. <sighs> this, look, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. This oh, is... Real talk. Let me, let me get real close to the mic. This right get, here, this is the me... product of a couple of years now? No, you shaved that thing down. I shaved it down quite a Once bit. Once at like Christmas. Yeah. This is pure laziness is all it is let's be real i went from real, real talk i'm following you now on on twitter kathy because of that <laughs> and i'm actually gonna tweet this <laughs> please do a- agreed. i'm totally gonna follow back <laughs> uh yeah so i uh believe it or not anybody who doesn't know me like in real life i used to be bald-headed true bald faced totally bald when i was in the military yep. and i got out and i was like i can grow hair this is awesome, and yeah, I used to work from home, so I just stopped shaving, and now you get this. So, yeah. It's a true story. All right, what do we got? Um, Larry says, uh, Notes is removable in iOS 10. Uh, I mean, Notes is actually usable, though, so... Um, I it, Again, the, the integration things with iOS, I think, is what makes... It, in my mind, it's okay that iOS packages a bunch of this stuff, but I think there's a fundamental difference between the things that iOS packages and the things that, like, say, Samsung will package. Samsung and, to me, the, the things that Samsung packages with their phones, it is exactly like when you go out and you buy, like, a HP laptop and you get crap all over your desktop. Drives me up the wall. Uh, whereas iOS, I don't feel like anything that they're the things that they're including are not third-party crap that they just throw on your phone. It's like legit usable stuff, I think, personally speaking. Uh, millennials are beard crazy. That is 100% correct. Um, I'm a little insulted that I'm referred to as a millennial. You're a millennial. No, I'm not. You're a millennial. Look, don't lump me in with those jack-offs. You're a millennial. What year were you born? Millennial. <laughs> What is the definition of millennial? Uh, well, it depends. Yeah. It depends on which scale you use. Yeah. Yeah. So some are saying it goes as far back as 79. I am not one of those people. Okay. I tend to believe it's closer to 81, 82. Okay. You are wrong. I, I'm not, though. You are. No. You are. Millennials are uh, people that are dumb that aren't born in the same year as I am. You were born in 82. Those people, millennials are those people. It's always, it's it's a them. It's never a me. I'm not a millennial. So here, here let them. me tell you this. because you're talking That's to not a, you. It's, you're, it's a you're, them thing. You're talking to somebody who loves generational differences. Oh, and has really? Done, oh, yeah. Uh, has done a tremendous amount of research on uh, generational differences. Uh, you are a millennial. You're actually a micro generation between uh-huh. baby not baby boomers hey, baby boomers gen x uh-huh. and millennial you're an exennial okay and that is a thing you shut your mouth <laughs> wow that is aggressive yeah yeah how about that <laughs> oh, wow <laughs> I feel like I was just violated a little bit. Uh, you kind of were. I'm not a millennial. You are a millennial. No, not good. I, oh I refuse to participate. I'm going to pull up a definition I of a millennial. I reject your reality and substitute my own. millennial. Menial labor. <laughs> <laughs> In the meantime, I'm going to grab millennial. another oh one God. of our topics so we can kind of drive this show forward because we are, we're stalled hard we'll talking get about stalled. random I, stuff. Oh, um, man. What is a... So that is not oh, what I want. You need to do your... Uh, I'm uh, not doing it. Do you even know what I'm going to say? I don't care. Okay. You you refuse to participate as well. I don't want you. What? I don't want your life. <laughs> I don't want I your don't life. I don't want your life. <laughs> uh, uh, age range. SanDisk announces a 400 gig micro SD card. I love that. I think that's uh, exceptionally awesome. You, I love you it. You could take pictures 
forever on a 400 gig card. I, you're it's insane. N- you'll never touch it. You could. You could. Hang legit- on. No, no, no. This is this is exactly Mama. like the Bill Gates saying like 64k of RAM is should be enough for everybody. Back in the enough day, for anybody. Yeah, but I mean, like, so in in the grand scheme of things, 400 gig is going to get consumed eventually because you're going to move to 4k, 8k recording. That's true. And it's going to chew up 400 gig. But I just think it's awesome that you have. 400 gigabytes Cash me outside. on something. <laughs> Cash me outside. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Jason, I will keep tweeting them, too. Obviously, after a live show. I'm going to kind of do hipster. a show right now. I'll, look, I'm I will take, you right I'll now, take you hipster. Are... I'll take hipster before I take millennial. Oh, yeah. What? I think he said hipster yeah. as well. I would, I would rather be called a hipster than millennial. Millennial Why? is so divisive. What? So divisive. Yeah. Why? Okay. Millennial. Calling somebody a millennial implies something about their work ethic. Calling somebody a hipster implies something about their sense of fashion. I will take hipster before I take millennial. That is... Do not question my work ethic. No, no. No, no. Hang on. That That's the... not you. I'm just saying, yeah. like, in general. Like, yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 yeah. You so... do not get the right to question my work ethic. No, no. I agree with that yeah. perspective. I think that people tend to believe that the work ethic of millennials is a little bit different we work smarter not harder ask ask an older generation person about millennials and it's always like lazy entitled millennials and that's where i'm like ixnay on the millennial a however you say that in pig latin i ain't playing that game no we work smarter when we work i typically agree with that yeah. faster but we'll get to that in a minute right but sometimes as a hipster it also that has somewhat of a negative connotation about work ethic too i don't i'm i don't see the that's subjective though because i believe that it i believe that hipster is even worse than millennial but that's That's my opinion i mean i think yours i think i think hipster is the right opinion (laughs) (laughs) i hate you so much i think i think hipster has like a a more general like i don't know how to want to say this like millennial is like opposite sides of a really deep graph right so it's either like you're a millennial or people hate you love it or hate it type of deal whereas it's the same thing about a baby boomer like uh, you've you've heard tons of millennials say baby boomers what do they need to do just shut up retire and get out of my way yeah it's the same thing we do like millennials do that same thing to the older generations too what you find is actual people out there in all the generations that go you know what let's just harness the thing that they have yeah and just use their strengths there's a reason there i looked at a great graphic the other day is you're still learning information you're actually you still continue continue to learn as you get older so oh, yeah you legitimately as you age yeah. do gain more knowledge so while i'm older totally and more knowledgeable that. yeah you are so let's harness that let me show you how i can take millennial things and apply them to the baby boomerness that is you and let's harness both. Let's uplift each other, a, not divi- look, be divisive, divisive, divisive yeah. well, with divisive, each other. Yeah. Well, you're talking my language now because if there's one thing that like I have grown to hate as I get older, it's the concept of othering something. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I can't remember. It's gonna sound so. It's eighty two, by the way. Oh, that's really unfortunate. It's after my birthday, though, is when it starts. I can say that right now. Children born in 1982 were entering preschool in the media when we first identified perspective link to the new millennial as the graduating class of 2000. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, it is. I just want you to know you were wrong again. No, 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 no because it starts after my birthday. Anyway, no, you're afterwards. an exennial, and here's the here reason why you're an exennial, but take the show over for a second. So, Let me get there. I... Being okay, it's gonna sound super pretentious, but there's something I think it's in uh, Sun Tzu's The Art of War. Uh, something about the the very first law of warfare is to create an other, create an other thing that you're going to fight. It's dehumanizing the enemy, and I experienced that. Like I got I got to see what it takes to uh, take a population of people and turn them into an enemy, even though in the grand scheme of things, it's moms and dads. Now, staying completely out of like all the politics and, and the divisiveness of like people that might uh, disagree with them being just moms and dads and like not having a problem with um, what happened in the Middle East and stuff like that. The point is, um, I don't think that othering 
a group of people is helpful. I just, I genuinely don't. I don't think that there's, I don't think that there's any value in creating a division between people and saying, you are them, they are the bad guy, I am over here, I'm objectively the good guy. It just, it never works out that way. It's never that black and white. And I just think it's a lot better if you can find common ground for people. Yeah, That's, and so but I'm, I'm a total hippie. I will, I will fully admit that. Michael mentions hippie. old fart is better than any of those. For sure, Larry. Nobody yeah. calls someone a millennial as a compliment. No one calls. That is my point. No one calls a baby boomer a, for a compliment either. In my mind, uh, I mean, really. Then, I mean, okay. Not that it's a compliment, but I, I still think that there is a. I think there's less. Negative connotation to baby boomer versus millennial. To baby boomer to baby boomer, I would agree with you. But if a millennial, if you look at a millennial and goes, man. But that's in the delivery. Boomer. Exactly. But that's but in the delivery. It's though. in the delivery from a millennial too. Like if you call me a millennial, I'll be like, okay, cool. Thanks. No. If a millennial calls I me a millennial, no, I will If another millennial say, you. if you say you're just a millennial, I would say, so are you. I mean. Uh, yeah, but that's. I, I don't care. Like, that's my point. But, the but idea that's, is, that's like, you, used you, as I'm going to call every generation that. Saying? Yeah, but you're going to call every generation as an insult. Yeah, but you can't. The ba- look. Baby boomers are this. They're stuck in their ways. Gen Xers, you're like, oh, Gen Xer. Like, Gen, what the, but that's there's no negative connotation attached to Gen X in the same way that there is with millennials. Gen Xers are stubborn and set in their ways. I'm they Gen don't... Xer, clearly. <laughs> oh, no, but you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, you call every generation and it has a negative connotation to it. No one says it's a compliment with any generation. To I Jason's know, point, I... every generation has issues. He's right. Every I, generation look, has issues. I get that. I completely agree with that. But I just think that with millennials specifically, it has it has reached a fever pitch. It is to the point where, like... To you can you can be a baby boomer and it's like oh okay you're a baby boomer you can be a Gen Xer and it's like ah, Gen Xer whatever, but a millennial, if as soon as you bring up millennial for the everybody else that is not a millennial is like oh god lazy entitled same, selfish bre- same oh, blah, thing blah, blah, blah. exactly you know why second largest generation yeah there's more of us yeah but oh that's, my god there's so many of them because. We're the second largest. Not not that there's so many of them, but just... The, we're the second it, largest one. We're no, right it. behind the baby boomers. Okay. We're the second largest... We, we actually have a lot in common yeah. with baby boomers. A lot. Very family-driven. Tremendously family-driven yeah. with the baby boomers. That's the thing. There is more commonality than people even want to exist. I would be willing to bet if you go back in time... Yeah. Same exact conversation. Oh, yeah. Please, it happens. Same exact conversation. It happens every generation, though. Like, I, I get that it happens every generation. Mm. Uh, oh, but I'm fired up now. Okay. What? Nothing. I'm just saying. Like, okay. Like, I get like I, I get your point. Do but you? I do. I honestly I just, do. It bothers me because stop, to your point. Yeah. Don't. Stop other. Don't other. Yeah. Stop it. Figure out what each person has. Yeah. And lift them up. Quit being oh never mind but you know uh, so real talk i think this is going to be we're way way off track here being a millennial isn't a point of pride for people born between 1980 and 2000 the generation is frequently called narcissistic entitled mopey and a host of other insults other exactly older millennials in particular often shun the label bam they came in an age before social media and smartphones, which is true. Yep. So they don't appreciate being lumped in with people who grew up with the ubiquitous internet. I did so. Pump the brakes on that statement. That has nothing to do with it. Like I, I think like it's the, more of just a time thing. But but ubiquity of internet, I don't think has anything to do with it. Like yes, I grew up without the internet initially, but I was very very fortunate in that uh, my parents got a computer i was one of the first kids on the block to have a computer and to have the internet and uh i can think of some moments in my childhood where i'm sure my parents might disagree with the idea of me not feeling like an entitled little brat when i was growing up talking about not having the internet and being upset about that fact but uh i don't think that it has i don't (laughs) i don't think connectivity of internet is social studies tonight i know we are (laughs) off topic (laughs) I love the. All right, you got trailer. you got thirty seconds about of you got thirty seconds to this, and we're going back to tech. I, I'm or done. are you done? I'm done. I'm done. Honestly, I mean, because I've I've said my point. I think that I think that generational differences, while probably valid, I don't think are as valid in terms of um, 
like being important. Like it's not, I don't think it's really that relevant. Like I think it's important to understand generation, generational differences to understand like where a generation is coming from so that you can better communicate with them. But I think the idea that we're just going to go, uh, lazy entitled millennials or, uh, stupid uninformed baby boomers or whatever. I just think it's stupid. Go. Perfect. Back to tech. Essential phone is awesome. I love the idea that the essential phone has a ceramic back, which is really, really strong. I don't like their choice of their screen. And they did it because of that weird U-shaped cutout on oh, the top. Oh, yeah. I don't like that. I just don't like the choice yeah. of their screen, but they did it because of um, uh, logistics. Yeah. Have that you seen, was the only reason. Have you seen the OnePlus 5? Uh, I have seen the OnePlus 5. I have no opinion on the OnePlus 5. I got burned back in the day with the OnePlus One. Plus One. And so, like, that company just kind of rubs yeah. me the wrong way anyway. I don't like when they announced the OnePlus One. They're like, "Hey, you, you got a winner." OnePlus One. I did. Yeah. They had a sandstone back. Now the sandstone it was back was beautiful. Yeah. It was super grippy. I didn't put a uh, screen protector or anything on it. It was a great phone. I just didn't like how I had to go uh, to acquire that. I had yeah. to like um, do special competitions. And, yeah. Eh, just let me buy the phone. You have to enter in a competition to get the ability to buy it. Yeah. Just because you can't work out your logistics on yeah. getting the stuff in there, I don't want to do that. Like, I don't like that. That bothers me. So, uh, so the LCD is not bad on the essential. I personally, I just don't like the choice that they had to make to do that, but I understand why they made the choice. That's just my personal opinion. I'm wondering if the difference in screen, the LCD versus uh, LED or OLED, is how they're able to squeeze out the extra battery life. That's exactly why. That's interesting. That's exactly why. That's from what I've been told. I have no, no basis yeah. on that other than what the reviews are telling me is because of that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> OnePlus 5 uh, 1080p screen. I'm not happy with the OnePlus 5 screen either, but I'm just not happy with the OnePlus... I, I'm just not happy with the OnePlus company in general. Yeah. I just don't like how they operate. That's just my personal opinion. I think they've gotten better about it. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I would be interested in... I would be interested in having, like, if, if somebody were to give me a OnePlus 5, okay, fine. Yep. Uh, but, again, so we've had this conversation before as far as, like, being at peak phone and just having just razor-thin differences between all of these all of these phones. So it's like, what, what, is, what is OnePlus... What is OnePlus doing differently than something like a Pixel? And, to me, being able to go direct to the manufacturer. Like, if... If OnePlus made an iPhone, would you get the Apple iPhone or would you get the OnePlus iPhone? You would get the Apple iPhone. Yeah. So, again, now that Google is, like, really in control of their own hardware platform with the Pixel line, why would you get anything else? Like, wh- like it seems like it's such a difficult sell for other device manufacturers to s- to remain relevant in the face of Like Jason brings Pixel. up again, Android, you have a choice. You can buy something else if you don't like it. Yeah, I mean, okay, I get, believe me, I get the choice. The the idea that, that choice is important, 100% agree. But it's it becomes a weird, not dicey proposition, but it just becomes a weird sale when everything is the same. And I think, other than some minor differences, I think you'd be hard-pressed to convince me that there's, other than just the sake of choice or other than like preference of brand, like LG, I like LG devices for Mm -hmm. the most part. It could really come down to like people have like a gear watch, a gear watch is going to play better with a Samsung phone. So that's somebody might want an S pen. The S pen is really cool. It is. It's just a matter of if that's the type of like, I personally like the way that Android operates with the pixel. Like it's just, that's how I operate. And to Jason's point, that's why it's, yeah. But those are those are those are like environmental questions, though. Like not like uh, Earth mm. is important and all that crap. I'm talking about like being in the, uh, I guess, ecosystem of Google versus Android. You know and that I mean? gets into a whole ecosystem Google, thing. Google versus Apple. I mean, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Uh, Essential phone has no right to be at the price with that kind of water resistance in 2017. Water I, I have... resistance is your favorite topic. I'm not a big on that. I'm just not. You don't. You think that water resistance is stupid? I wouldn't say stupid. It's not a selling point for me. That's what I think is a fair statement. Stupid okay. is not a fair. That that would okay. be fair. Okay. I would say that it's not. A, I am not actively 
making a choice on a device because it's waterproof. Because it's waterproof. Gotcha. I'm just not. I like yeah. just like Jason mentioned, never ruined a phone due to water. No issue for me. Same here. My wife has dropped her phone into a glass of Mountain Dew. Into. Bloop. That is definitely not water. I don't even know even if waterproofing would help with that. <laughs> because you have a whole host of other problems. Yeah. That thing called sugar. Yeah. Like I I sugar. wanna say I wanna say that she even I can't remember if she took a picture of it on something else to show me, but uh yeah. I Well anyway, I, long story short is like I never buy a phone because of waterproofing. It's a nice to have. Yeah. It's just Yeah, I I can't speak to the England needs water resistance. Um I can see that though, like Yeah. I try to keep my phone, like, if I know that I'm going to be in a situation where there's going to be copious amounts of liquid, I put it in a, a Ziploc baggie. Yeah. I do. I just yeah. have. When I mow the lawn, it goes into Ziploc baggie. Not me. I, I just, the way that, yeah. that's kind of how I do it. Yeah. Uh, I don't jump in a pool even with a Ziploc baggie. Oh, uh, for sure. I don't jump in a pool. Okay. Period. I I don't get in a pool. You don't, I am not a pool not a guy. pool guy? I'm not a pool guy. I'm not a lakes and oceans guy. I'll do that's cool. Yeah, that is disgusting. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is the the fear of things coming up from the deep ocean and eating you, but that I really oh god, I don't like that. I don't like not being able to see what's happening below me. I do not like that. Hmm. Do not like that. <laughs> I switch phones every three months. I uh, I used to be that way. Yeah, uh, and then I fell in love with the Pixel, and I'm like, I just can't. Well, so I just can't. Number one, phones have gotten expensive yes. and or the the removal of carrier subsidies from again, this is this is strictly strictly America speaking, right? Yes. Removal of subsidies I think has done more to kind of kill off people switching phones regularly than anything else. Um, so that that cost then gets passed directly onto consumers but up front. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like carrier subsidies you're still paying for the phone. Don't get me wrong, but you were just paying for it over a longer period of time. Now, something like T-Mobile, you can finance a phone. Okay, fine. But there's still a difference between like, okay, I am financing the phone and there's a separate line item on your bill for this phone versus when carriers would basically just take the money and bake it into your bill and then you just never saw it. Call it the psychology, the sale or whatever. Point is, it's gone and now it's that that's upfront cost to us as consumers. Yep. I'm not switching my phone until it breaks mm-hmm. or until I have a really good reason to want to switch phones. So, it just so right before we end the show, Mark, you got one of the last questions in. Yep. What do I hear about the Note 8? So, full disclosure, I have held a Note 8. Yes. They're not out yet. Uh huh. I have held a Note 8. Are you going to do a review on it, Scott? I, I can't. <laughs> That's such a story. Like, okay, ah, I got ah. 30 seconds of this. What really grinds my gears is like, we are a small YouTube channel. We yeah. are trying to make a difference in the world and do things and like bring this cool content and we're not going to stop by any stretch of the imagination. But man, is it super, super like, no, I don't want to say heartbreaking because that's way overplayed, but it's... <sighs> it's frustrating. It's for sure. really frustrating when you're like, okay, cool. Um, I would really like to do a review of the Note 8, but all of a sudden there's... 18 million reviews of the Note 8, and the phone is three weeks from being yeah. out. It's just annoying. Like, the big guys, the MKBHDs, uh, Lou from Unbox Therapy, copious amounts of other million yeah. subscriber plus well, tech reviewers. Wh- what do the little people do? Like, even, even people YouTube that... is a hard platform right now for people who are small YouTubers. It's just the truth. Now, this is me yeah. just being really negative at the moment. I'm, I am an overwhelmingly much more real slash positive person. It's just a point of frustration. Like, man, you you have got to set yourself apart in order to become that. And it's just the way that the world works with YouTube right now. What it's I was just a point of frustration. The when you have when you have channels that like doing reviews is not necessarily their bread and butter anyway. Right. And they are able to just because of subscriber count or watch minutes, they're able to get their hands on devices even though we are we're we're tech people like we're we are guys that They're obsessively hardcore. follow tech outside of just this channel stuff like we talk to each other all the time outside of this and talk about technology yeah. 
so even even we cannot get access to some of the devices that somebody who has almost no connection to tech can get a hold of just because of eyeballs on channel. It is really it's really, really hard. hard, and so it's we, hard to be it's hard to be different. Like that's that's part of the reason why we basically just show up and be us for the most part. Yeah, y'all are that's getting the, like that's yeah, the difference. This is as absolutely real as it gets when you guys when you're seeing well, it's kind of tonight. Close. Like, we're not dropping. It, we're not words, dropping like yeah. heat like heaters. <laughs> that is not the right yeah. word. So, uh, we might be a little more blue uh, in terms of language. Yeah, like in real life, I, but well, you know, we try and keep it PG. It, it's just, it's just another point of frustration. But and sorry, Mark. Sorry, so sorry. I have held the Note Eight. Oh man, let me just, I'm gonna lean into the mic real quick. I'm gonna tell you this: the Note Eight is gorgeous. I it is duh. so beautiful. Yeah. I, I do not understand. I do not get why they have the S8 Plus and yeah. the Note 8. Just make one and stick with it. And that Note 8, it is super like slim now. Yeah. It's tall. It's really tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super slim. Beautiful screen. It has that edge to edge. Yeah, like that, that like is. Over, the overlaying edge where you can kind of like do the weird swipe with your thumb and it pulls apps in. It's awesome i love the note 8. i thought that stupid edge thing was dumb at first and now that when you see when when it was one edge i didn't like it when it was both edges gorgeous oh my god that does so much to make the phone feel it, like it just goes on forever it is a gorgeous device yeah it is super well put together i hope it doesn't catch fire i really <laughs> hope it doesn't catch fire honestly yeah. if it didn't catch fire Far? 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 Yeah. Far, far. Yeah. If it doesn't catch fire, it could be the device of the year for for a lot of tech YouTubers. Yeah. Not for me because I'm yeah, going to Google fanboy it up and you're I'm going to say pixel. the pixel, yeah. but it the camera's great. This the software is just great. Great, great, great. Uh did you did I see the Yes. Uh the Yeah. Uh, you're right. It is with Android. the The V30 is also going to be really, really, really good. I do not. No, it does not have a replaceable battery. Almost, that. almost. No I didn't get to hold it. I, I didn't get to hold batteries. it that long. I got it very, very like. I got to hold the S Pen and I got to hold the device, and then it was like whoosh, gone. Yeah. But no, no replaceable battery. I don't even know if it had an SD or it, I don't know if it had an SD card slot. I didn't get to so, see that. Most, I mean, manufacturing complexities and otherwise, most phones from here on out basically will no longer have SD slots and removable batteries. Like, those are things that are just... The cool thing is, though, it this is... This is not happening. Um, USB OTG. And yes, due to waterproofing, for sure. Yeah, USB uh, on the go. If you don't have anything like that right now, look into it. There's a company called Minova, M-E-E-N-O-V-A. Yep that has really cool little adapters that you can plug into the bottom of your devices and basically insert an SD card up to two right now up to 256 gigs worth of storage. I'm assuming that they'll change it and be able to reflect that huge giant 400 gig one. <sighs> but I, I I'm sure that's I cheap. routinely um, I routinely plug a USB on the go device into my pixel yeah. and just move files off of it. That makes sense. And it does have an SD card slot, so there you go. It's Which one does? gorgeous. Oh, the does, yeah. does have a headphone jack. Yeah. S Pen Hall <clears> 2. <throat> My guess is that the eight, the Note 8 is going to almost always have a headphone jack because that S Pen, it just doesn't make any sense not to. Because the S Pen probably yeah, it's it's roughly, yeah, it's roughly the same yeah. size. And the whole reason they go with no headphone because they're trying to make everything really, really thin. But yeah. it's going to always have to be somewhat... This is the same thickness of a headphone jack yeah. because of the S Pen. Yeah. Which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I got. I've gone for an hour and 34 minutes. Hour and a half. Hour and a half again. Yep. You have to record. I still have to record. I have to record a video for Sunday. What's your video on? My video for this Sunday is about the... Uh, the. Go grab it. You want to show? Do, do a live. We'll, we'll live. sneak, yeah. Yeah. sneak yeah. preview. We'll, we'll see, Hold on, we'll sneak see preview. About. Check this out. Cash me it's outside. Actually, it's actually really cool. It's very cool. That thing is behemoth. Yeah. Oh, behemoth. Oh, this. All right, here. This is the 
uh, Marshall Bluetooth speaker. Um, this is actually the Stanmore model. Um, there's a handful of them in the group. Uh, so I'll be doing the review of this. This is not light. Mm -mm. Um, this, it is awesome, though. This has some weight, yeah. So we'll be doing a review of that on Sunday. So please stop by and uh, look for that video, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, gals, everybody that's watching us, friends, folks on Twitter that said that I don't have a glorious beard, I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty too, damn it. Eh. <laughs> eh, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, video on the essential phone. If you send me your essential phone, for sure, I will gladly do that. Remember, we're still a small channel. Yep. Uh, hit him with your socials. Uh, yeah. So you can pretty much only find me on Twitter because I shun all the rest of the social medias. You can find me at ominous hominid. That's O M I N O U S H O M I N I D, and I only do it because me. Yeah. I'm gonna tell them. Yeah, exactly. Uh, um, what about the what about our actual channel Twitter? Uh, the actual channel Twitter is uh, at the tech speaks, which I also you run do a lot with. Yeah, pretty much. Find me on the tweeters at at Scott Peachy S C O T T P E A C H E Y Fuzzy Fruit E Y on the end. On the Insta, Scott Peachy O Six. Instagram. Uh, on Facebook at The Tech Speaks. The Tech Speaks on the Book of Face. And that is all you. And that is all me. There I is do an, not do Facebook. There is an Instagram for the channel, but we don't use it. Yeah. That's the we really version. just hold the name. Uh, follow the beard. Follow the beard. Like, share, subscribe. Tell Please. your friends. Uh, hell, you can even donate. Yeah. You're welcome to. Yeah, we don't care. We don't ask for money. Yeah. Do it if you want. We don't we, care. We do it because we love you. We we actually do it because we really like this stuff. Yeah. This channel started on a bet. Maybe we'll tell the story one day. I would. Yeah. We should tell that story. Be a fun story. That would have been a great. You're right, damn millennials. <laughs> <laughs> we should have told Thanks, that. Jason. We should have told that story for the tenth episode. Oh, we totally should have. But we didn't. No, we didn't. Like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment. I love that you teased it and then walked away from it. I did. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. That's what we call a teaser in the business. See you guys. You guys have fun. Uh, I gotta, I gotta stop stuff. <laughs> so hey, you get okay. Rare, let's try this again. Rare Ready? behind the scenes. Rare behind the scenes. We gotta we, stop the stream. Okay, say bye again. Scene. Ready? Yeah, bye guys. See you guys. Gals, later. Bye.